hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, I'm Rachel and welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell so you don't miss my uploads. So today I'm coming to you with, I'm trying to do a chit chat, get ready with me. This is my second attempt, you know, so you could get to know me better. So here we go. Favorite water. So I want to play with some colors. I want to use the Laura Lee and Morphe, it's no, Laura Lee, Los Angeles uh, Party Animal Palette. It's so gorgeous. I want to play with these colors today. I want to be more colorful. And I'm going to start with my eyes today. So I started a YouTube because anyone who knows me knows I've been wanting to do this for like four years. I fell in love with YouTube like four years ago. And I always wanted to do this. And finally, so my name is Rachel, and as you can tell, I have an accent because I wasn't born here. I am from uh, the beautiful island of Grenada. It's a tiny island in the Caribbean, and I relocated to the United, to the United States because of beauty and the industry that I chose. It was so difficult to grow back home, and I'm starting off with this color that says. Um, Damage control is a very nice blue. Wow. Yeah, so I moved, I relocated here because um, I wanted to grow. And I feel like, well, although I love my country, being there, I felt like I was suffocating at one point. I didn't have access to the things that I wanted to help me grow. Wow, this color is beautiful. Oh my god. So uh, I left and I did one eye off camera. And so I'm back to complete the other one. Makeup can seem very difficult when you do not know what you're doing, but that is what I'm here for. I'm here to share my love and my knowledge for makeup. So as I was saying, I started YouTube because I feel like most of my friends, they don't know much about makeup. They're into makeup because of me or I'm the one that they were coming to for advice and things like that. And I wanted, I wanted to talk to people who know about makeup or who want to know about makeup and make friends. Like it's such a, it could be such a beautiful community. Although there's so much drama happening now all over YouTube with to speak my truth and all of that but i'm not involved in that or anything but sometimes it scares you to see that such a beautiful community can be so hateful and nasty you know but makeup for me is it's deeper than makeup you know it's a way of expressing yourself it washes off it's not a big deal i feel like people are more accepting of it now than they were before it was like before it was like oh i'm all natural and i'm all this and that but it's a way of expressing yourself and if you need to do makeup to make you feel more confident or to give you the boost that you need then do it i mean that's what it's there for it washes off it's just to enhance it's not made to totally make you look different you know it's there to enhance and give you the confidence that you're looking for so i went in with these two colors um damage control and karaoke one is a lighter blue one is a darker blue so i went to the darker blue my crease and i'm blending this off right now and I know all this seems really complicated and it could be, you know, but if you want to know makeup, you want to, you want to see a bomb ass beat, you want your face to look flawless, you have to do it. I am using YouTube as a platform to get myself out there because there's so much things that I do and so much that I love. Like for example, I went to school for culinary. I do hold a degree in culinary, which I practiced for a while. I'm also a nail technician here operating in Brooklyn, New York. So book me, you know, and I love makeup. Like I'm an artist at heart. It's 
those things get me so excited like if you know me you will know how excited i get about stuff like that like it literally makes me so so happy and so i want to share my love for that right That's here the process because this the look will look it looks crazy until you're actually done it really does now especially with some uh, concealer some color pop and i'm gonna cut my crease this is gonna make the pink pop a lot more and i'm using a flat concealer brush to get that done and i'm rambling also so i started my channel not just for makeup but as a means for motivation for others because me by myself it's so difficult to stay motivated life gets so tough sometimes like the struggle can be so real and you have to motivate yourself and I know for me personally when I look at other influencers or podcasts and things like that because I love staying motivated you and I hear someone say something and it speaks to me I feel less alone because you could feel so alone in this world you know even though you have friends and family and people around that cares you can feel so alone at times so when I hear like I probably maybe been through something and then I hear someone speak about that thing or simple simple um, things I'm like okay I'm not alone in this and it makes you feel better so I want to be that sort of outlet for somebody I want someone to come to my channel and come for that reason not just makeup but I aspire to inspire through makeup you know make this beauty community beautiful again yes I live very close to the highway I think I said that last time and you may hear noises so for any noises you hear i apologize there's nothing much i can do about it bikes will wake me in my sleep at night especially in the summertime i'm like <gasps> from a bike four o'clock in the morning i swear that's what i gotta deal with right now so any noises please excuse the noise and also did i mention that my hairstyle is like ten dollars this is expression braid that i looked crocheted into my hair and blow dried and flat ironed ten dollars you should try it let me know if you want to see me incorporate um hair tutorials i'm thinking about doing it because i do my hair on my own i don't go to salons and things like that i color my hair whatever is my hair i'm the one who did it i did grow up with a mom as a hairdresser who still practices so i think i'm pretty good at what i do going back to i do a lot so i want to use youtube as my platform to express that and to show that okay i'm rambling again so going back to me wanting to be a form of motivation for people for my subscribers you can come and listen to me and we can chat you can leave what you want to hear me talk about uh, my opinion and i'm not a professional i just from experience and just to reach others you know it's something that someone could identify with so you can leave in the description box topics you'd like to hear me touch on based on my see guys i said makeup is a process you have to trust the process trust the process trust a mom of a 15 year old daughter her name is phoebe and she is pursuing her music Correct. that's what she wants to do she wants to sing so she's pursuing that at the moment I'm gonna damp my brush and I like damping my brush the reason is it makes your colors stand out it really makes it more foil looking more metallic looking it sticks to the lid better everything like everything is right when you damp your brush when you're using shimmer shades and things like that so and this is my wet and wild natural finish uh, setting spray any setting spray will do mac fix plus i use that one sometimes oh, i'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and i'm gonna run it underneath this to get a nice sharp line laura lee los angeles party animal uh palette i bought it off the morphe website you guys should try it if you like colorful things like that with my wet and wild uh, face primer i love this primer it really smooths my skin i think i went out of focus there for a while so i'm just applying a little bit of this on a flat foundation brush I'm put this all over my face i like using two primers and my pri two primers are smoothing and no smoothing <laughs> it's 
smoothing and sometimes I go in with a mattifying primer in the center of my face because I have an oily t-zone but the rest of my face could be normal to dry my Maybelline uh, Superstay um, long wear full coverage foundation and I'm using two as usual because Maybelline do not have my shade as usual that is one of the most difficult things for me you guys and to find my shade it's almost almost impossible to find a shade that's perfect for me so I almost have to buy two shades but it can be very expensive so I'm just now at a point where I am getting the one that's closest to my skin and I always go for it a bit darker because I always highlight and contour so it just makes everything blending anyway so anybody with that issue that's something you can do just go for your, a shade that's just a little bit darker and if you always highlight and contour it's better to look darker than lighter and I'm just gonna use my favorite real techniques sponge and blend that in my skin I feel like Maybelline from the drugstore makes some of the best and they carry some of my favorite favorite foundations they are really really nice i'm actually gonna do a video with my favorite uh, top five favorite drugs or foundations soon this is just one layer you guys and look at this it's perfect i use that foundation all summer long now i'm gonna grab my ColourPop no filter concealer in number dark 36 and i like using my i like a light under eye i like my under eyes to look very light and bright so when you're using a concealer, you usually go for a shade or two that's darker, that's lighter than your skin and your contour could be a shade or two darker, but I probably go like three shades, that's the way. So that is why I could get away with using um, a foundation that's darker than me because it just balances everything out anyway. Now I'm going in with a, a press uh, foundation powder. I like applying that first before I go in with my shot with my um, banana powders because it just makes everything look smoother and on my eyes can be very dry. So this just makes everything look smoother. And that way you don't have to apply too much other powders on top of that to make underneath your eyes look dry and when your eyes look too dry it really and now i'm gonna set underneath my eyes this makes it so that your concealer doesn't crease it lasts as for me who have oily t-zone putting that extra powder there makes it last all day and i'm not doing anything too crazy on my face my base is going to be nice but my eyes is already so popping i don't want to look drag I just want everything else to be sort of softer and more flirty. Hmm. So I'm just bringing a little bit of color back into my skin and some nose contour. And I would do an in-depth uh, tutorial with things like highlights and contours. I mean, I just started. I'll get there. Hmm. Now I'm using one of my favorite blush palettes, the BH Cosmetics blush palette in nude blush. And I'm grabbing, I like applying my blush with a brush that looks like this because my face is small. So I like using smaller brushes to get the product on. I feel like I have more control with a smaller brush as opposed to a bigger brush. Boom! Brows are done, 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 done. And I use my Morphe, my favorite 25B palette. I love this palette because the shade, I use this. So I use an angle brush and I mix this color and that color from the palette to get this color because I like my brows to look warmer. So I completed my bottom lashes using the orange and I had to work it up, build it up a lot because it was it's not that pigmented as you can see. And I added some Morphe gel liner in my waterline and I'm that's it for my Shayla and Colourpop highlighter and I'm using Booming. And I'm going to dab my brush as usual and apply this to the highest points of my cheekbones. 
Canada is so beautiful. So I went on a rant. <laughs> not a rant i was just like rambling all over the place i started one thing and went everywhere with it but basically i'm trying to say that i'm doing youtube not just for makeup but to also inspire people and be a platform that is slightly different when it comes to staying positive and reaching out to others and being beautiful because this is a beautiful industry it's the beauty industry now i'm going in with my big shot mascara i'm gonna switch it up i've been using this in my last couple of videos i know i need to switch it up i really do i am gonna go in with lashes anyway so i'm just adding one coat of that on my top and bottom lashes i'm actually liking this without the lashes because i feel like my looks are so dramatic lashes could hide going with my mac plum lip liner but i can't find it right now so i'm going in with my favorite colourpop bff three then i'm grabbing my colourpop um spritz um satin lip lipstick these ones are not they don't dry that mad they're very comfortable on the lips so if you have an issue with uh liquid lipsticks the satin ones from colourpop could be perfect my mac lip glass in pink nouveau just to add a little something and i'm gonna set my face with some la girl pro set and spray so this is a completed look you guys i just sat and played with some colors and i love the way it turned out this is not a look i would wear every day but i mean that's what makeup is it washes off i'm gonna wash this off if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like comment share and be sure to hit that bell so you do not miss my uploads and help me grow here on youtube it's my goal my goal to reach millions to reach millions i really do and i want my platform to be positive and be a place of motivation for everybody that's the difference that i want to bring here on youtube through the love of makeup so thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye.